One of the most common struggles that business owners experience when it comes to strategy is not so much the development, but how to drive the execution of the strategy. Hi everyone, I'm Darren from Elements Advisory Group, here to discuss a strategic execution tool that will help convert your business plan into more meaningful perspectives and action-based tasks. I'm talking about the Balanced Scorecard. If you're planning for the next financial year or further into the future, you should consider using the Balanced Scorecard to help ensure the decisions you make today will bring you closer to the full achievement of your business goals. So, what is the Balanced Scorecard and how can you use it in your business planning? Balanced Scorecard, or BSC, is a strategic execution tool that helps businesses analyze how the overarching business strategy should be translated into the core perspectives or areas of the business. Typically, many finance professionals and business owners focus purely on traditional financial metrics to assess whether the business has been successful. This top-down approach is short-sighted because it only focuses on the financial metrics that reflect events that have already occurred. The BSC takes a bottom-up approach, which helps business owners assess the non-financial events or leading indicators that drive the financial outcomes in the business. So let's look briefly at those perspectives now. The first perspective focuses on the most important aspect of business, your team. This is referred to as the people perspective. The simple but profound thought behind this is that strategic execution relies on whether you have a team of happy, engaged and well-trained staff. Success in this perspective is a driver of the next area, which is referred to as the process perspective. This area focuses on the how in how you deliver your product, service or value proposition to your customer. If you have a great team, they are likely to be more aligned to standard process adapt to new technologies and deliver your product or service in full and on time. If a business can achieve success in these two perspectives, this is the driver of success in what is called the customer perspective. The customer area focuses on the customer centric outcomes that are needed to achieve business success. The thought behind this is that if you have a great team who deliver your product or service in full and on time, the customer is likely to be satisfied with their spend, purchase again and become a brand advocate. Achieving success in the people, process and customer perspectives is the driver of success in the final area, which is your financials. In this perspective, the BSC focuses on what financial outcomes are needed to ensure that the business is financially healthy and sustainable. If you don't have a great team who detract from the process and fail to deliver the value proposition, the customer is unlikely to pay on time, in full, and the business may need to consider discounting to remedy the experience. By focusing on what drives successful achievement of business strategy, the BSC breaks down the business across a balanced mix of leading and lagging perspectives. BSC uses what is called objectives to define what success looks like in each of these four areas. The BSC process encourages businesses or business owners to assess each perspective. What are the things that we must achieve in order to achieve success in this perspective? Once the objectives are set, the BSC cascades these down to action items that must be completed in order to complete an objective. For example, Let's look at the people's perspective. A common set of objectives for this area might be, ensure that we have all key positions filled, ensure that we provide the highest level of training to our team, and thirdly, to ensure that we have the right people in the right place. If you wanted to have all key positions filled, a business owner would then need to consider the key roles that they would need to fill, by when, and who is responsible for driving that recruitment. By critically analysing each perspective in this way, you're breaking up the strategy into smaller, more manageable and achievable objectives that when completed in full, equal the full achievement of your strategy. Having a great business strategy that is broken up into the four key perspectives with great objectives is less meaningful if you cannot measure that success. 
That's why the BSC incorporates the use of tailored KPIs to measure whether a business is successful or not in each perspective. In general, at least three to four KPIs should be identified for each area of the scorecard. For example, KPIs relating to the people perspective could be measures such as staff turnover, the number of hours spent on training, or the number of unfilled positions. KPIs relating to the process perspective could be measures such as average job turnaround times, number of returns, or number of jobs completed in full and on time. For the customer area, the KPI suite could consider things like the number of complaints, number of new customers, or even the number of customers lost. And finally, the measures in the financial area would include the more traditional finance KPIs, such as revenue growth, gross profit margin, and profitability. But remember, when it comes to introducing KPIs, they need to be specific, measurable, and realistic. If you are currently working on your, on your strategic plan for the next 12 months or further into the future, consider using the Balanced Scorecard as your execution tool to ensure the decisions you make today and tomorrow will bring you closer and closer to achieving your vision. If you want advice on implementing your plan, our specialist advisory team can help construct a Balanced Scorecard to maximise your growth opportunities and business value. Contact the Elements team today at admin at elementsag.com.au or call us on 07 3878 9181. Thanks for watching and good luck with your business journey.